When testing batteries, you should always wear safety glasses, protective clothing, and remove all jewelry, including watches. Do not test batteries with any sign of damage. For further safety advice, please go to www.mkbattery.com. I'm now going to demonstrate the MK70 Mark III capacity tester. This tester will allow you to measure the available capacity of a 12 volt battery, test a 24 volt charger and produce a professional test report. It's also important to note that our tester is designed to evaluate battery conditions such as end of life or stated warranty performance. The MK70 Mark III is not designed to test the initial capacity of a battery. In order to test the initial capacity of a battery, you should use adjustable testing equipment. Before carrying out a capacity test, you will need to charge the battery overnight to ensure an accurate reading. Firstly, you will connect the USB stick provided to the front of the tester. If the stick is not connected, you will be unable to test your battery. Your results will also be saved to the stick so that you can produce a test report. I will cover this later on. Next, we attach the cables to the terminals, red to positive, black to negative. You should now see the screen of the tester power up and the battery voltage will be displayed. Using the display change button, scroll to the option that says C20 capacity. Here you need to enter the battery's amp power rating using the yellow up or down buttons. Once the amp power rating is set, using the display change button, scroll to the screen option that displays discharge. From here, you simply press the start stop button twice and the capacity test will begin. When the test begins on the screen, you will see displayed the amperage, the voltage, the measured capacity as a percentage, and the runtime of the test. Testing a battery's capacity can take anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours, depending on the amp hour rating and a number of factors. When the test is finished, the screen will display either a pass or a fail, and the capacity of the battery as a percentage. The MK pass rate is anything above 60%. It is important to remove the USB stick in the following way to avoid data corruption. Using the display change button, scroll to the option PDRV suspend, then press the start stop button. When the screen returns to the voltage display, you can then remove the stick. To carry out a 24 volt charger test, you will require two discharge batteries and the relevant charger. Using the link cable provided, join the two batteries together. Connect the red clip to the positive terminal on battery A and the black clip to the negative terminal on battery B. To complete the 24 volt circuit, connect the red clip from the tester to the positive terminal on battery B and the black clip to the negative terminal on battery A. You will now see the combined voltage of the batteries displayed on the tester screen. At this point, attach the three pin charger cable provided to the front of the tester, red to positive and black to negative. Then connect your charger and plug it into the mains, but do not switch it on. So this is how your setup should look. Now moving to the front of the tester, use the display change button to scroll to the charging time screen and set to 16 hours using the yellow up and down buttons. Again, using the display change button, scroll to option 24 volt charger test. To start the test, press the start stop button twice and switch on your charger. Displayed on the screen, you will see the charger voltage and the test time counting down. By using the yellow up button, you're also able to see the current being delivered by the charger. This test will not display a pass or fail, but it will allow you to produce a detailed test report, which will aid you in your evaluation of the charger. When this test is complete, it is important to remove the USB stick as previously shown. Before you are able to produce your battery test reports, you will need to download the MK70 software. This software, along with a user manual, is available on the USB stick supplied with your tester. To install, simply double click on the install icon and follow the automatic installation process. There is one alteration required during the install process. On the screen tab titled Select Destination Location, highlight, then delete the words Program Files Only and replace with Desktop. When the install is complete, you should see the AKKU battery tester icon on your desktop. To produce your test report, simply double click on the icon 
and then click the Read USB Flash Drive option at the top of the screen. You then need to select the file you wish to produce a test report for. The highest numbered file will be the last test carried out. Once you have double clicked on the file, a graph will appear on your screen. You should then double click on your test report icon and your test report will be displayed. This test report will display all the information required by your customer, including battery qualification and measured battery capacity. You are also able to add your company address and logo to the top of the report. To add a logo, simply right click and import here. And to add address, delete existing text and update accordingly. When you are happy with your report, you can print or save it using the relevant icons at the bottom of the page. So there you have it, the MK70 tester. Thanks for watching.